Have you ever wondered about the inception of one of the world's largest religions, Islam? Today we delve into the birth of this rich and influential faith, tracing its roots back to the 7th century in what is now known as Saudi Arabia. The world was a vastly different place in the 7th century. The Arabian Peninsula was primarily a tribal society, characterized by nomadic Bedouin tribes. These tribes were engaged in constant conflict, vying for resources and power. It was an era marked by social unrest, economic disparity and spiritual vacuity. While you are here, we would greatly appreciate it if you can hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel, which motivates us to make more engaging videos for you all in the future. In this cauldron of chaos and uncertainty, a spark ignited that would forever change the course of human history. This spark was Islam, a religion founded on the principles of peace, unity and submission to the will of one God. At the heart of this spiritual revolution was a man named Muhammad. Born in Mecca, Muhammad was a man of profound moral integrity, respected and loved by those who knew him. He lived a relatively simple life until the age of 40, when he began to receive revelations from God conveyed by the angel Gabriel. These revelations, which would later form the Holy Quran, instructed him to preach the message of monotheism and social reform. Muhammad's teachings were revolutionary, challenging the deeply entrenched tribal customs and idol worship. He preached of a society where justice, charity and respect for all were paramount, a stark contrast to the prevailing norms of the time. Despite facing immense opposition and persecution, Muhammad and his followers persevered, their determination fueled by their unwavering faith. The message of Islam spread slowly at first, then exponentially, attracting followers from all walks of life. The teachings resonated with many who were disillusioned by the rampant social inequality and spiritual emptiness of the time. So, Prophet Muhammad set the foundation for what would become one of the world's most influential religions. His teachings, rooted in the pursuit of peace, justice and spiritual fulfillment, continued to guide over a billion people worldwide, shaping societies and cultures in profound ways. Thus, the spark of Islam, ignited in the 7th century, continues to burn brightly, illuminating the path for millions today. From a single city to an empire, how did Islam spread so rapidly? This is a question that has intrigued scholars and historians for centuries. Born in the hot desert sands of Saudi Arabia, Islam, in a relatively short span, expanded its reach far beyond its birthplace, touching the lives of people across continents. The initial expansion of Islam was largely driven by trade. Muslim merchants, with their caravans laden with goods, traveled far and wide, reaching the bustling markets of Persia, the fertile plains of Egypt, and the vibrant ports of the Mediterranean. As they traded their wares, they also shared their faith. Islam, with its message of universal brotherhood and equality, resonated with the people they encountered, leading many to embrace the new religion. But trade was not the only vehicle for the spread of Islam. The role of conquests cannot be overlooked. The early Muslim armies, under the leadership of the caliphs, embarked on a series of military campaigns. These conquests were not merely about territorial gains, they were also opportunities to spread the teachings of Islam. The conquered people were treated with dignity and respect, and many chose to convert to Islam, attracted by its egalitarian principles. Cultural exchange also played a significant role in the spread of Islam. As Islam spread to new regions, it absorbed elements of the local cultures while also imprinting its own traditions and beliefs. This two-way exchange enriched the Islamic civilization, making it a melting pot of diverse cultures and ideas. The rapid expansion of Islam was also facilitated by its simple message and its emphasis on community. The five pillars of Islam provided a clear framework for the believers, while the concept of Ummah or community fostered a sense of belonging. Looking back, it's clear that the expansion of Islam was not a random occurrence, but the result of a complex interplay of trade, conquests, cultural exchange, and the power of its message. The spread of Islam was not just about the growth of a religion, but also about the growth of a civilization. The expansion of Islam was indeed a testament to its appeal and influence. What are the fundamental beliefs that bind the followers of Islam together? 
At the heart of Islam are five principles often referred to as the five pillars of Islam. These five pillars not only shape the lives of Muslims, but also act as a guide for their daily routines and rituals. Firstly, we have the Shahada, the Declaration of Faith. This involves bearing witness that there is no deity but God, and Muhammad is his messenger. This pillar serves as a constant reminder of a Muslim's commitment to a monotheistic belief and the acceptance of Muhammad as the final prophet. Next up is Salah, or prayer. Muslims are required to perform five daily prayers facing the Kaaba in Mecca. These prayers occur at dawn, noon, afternoon, sunset and night, serving as a constant connection to God and a reminder of their faith. Thirdly, we have zakat, or almsgiving. This is not just a form of charity, but a mandatory act of worship. Muslims are required to give a fixed portion of their income, typically 2.5%, to the needy. This pillar emphasizes community, equality, and the importance of helping others. The fourth pillar is Psalm, or fasting, during the holy month of Ramadan. From dawn until sunset, Muslims abstain from food, drink, and other physical needs. It's a time of purification, self-discipline, and a reminder of the suffering of the less fortunate. Finally, we have Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca. Every Muslim who is physically and financially able is required to make this journey at least once in their lifetime. This pillar is a demonstration of unity, with millions of Muslims from around the world coming together. Alongside these pillars, the belief in monotheism, or Tawhid, is crucial in Islam. It is the unwavering belief in the oneness of God, rejecting all forms of idolatry and polytheism. These core beliefs form the heart of Islam, guiding its followers in every aspect of their lives. Who are the iconic figures in Islam, and what are the major sects within the religion? We embark on a journey to understand the figures who have left an indelible mark on Islam and delve into the major sects of the religion. At the heart of Islam we find Prophet Muhammad, the last prophet in the Abrahamic lineage. Born in the city of Mecca in the 7th century, he is revered as the conduit through which the Quran, the holy book of Islam, was revealed. His life and teachings form the Sunnah, an integral part of Islamic jurisprudence. If at any point you find this video helpful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to our new channel. This helps us immensely and motivates us to make lots of more engaging content videos in the future. Alongside Prophet Muhammad, we find figures like Ali and Aisha. Ali, the Prophet's cousin and son-in-law, is a respected figure in all of Islam, but holds a unique status in Shia Islam as the first Imam. He's seen as the rightful successor to Prophet Muhammad, embodying spiritual and political leadership. Aisha, the Prophet's wife, is another pivotal figure. Known for her intellect and memory, she narrated over 2,000 hadiths, sayings and actions of Prophet Muhammad, significantly contributing to Islamic scholarship. Now, let's delve into the major sects within Islam, Sunni and Shia. These sects emerged following a dispute over the Prophet's successor after his passing. The Sunni, making up the majority of Muslims worldwide, believed that the Prophet's companions were his rightful successors. Conversely, the Shia believe that Ali and his direct descendants, known as Imams, were the Prophet's rightful successors. Sunni and Shia, while sharing core beliefs, differ in aspects of jurisprudence, theology and religious practice. For instance, Sunni Muslims follow four major schools of Islamic law, while Shia Muslims primarily follow the Jafari school of law. Despite these differences, they share a profound devotion to Allah and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. In conclusion, figures like Prophet Muhammad, Ali and Aisha, alongside the major sects of Sunni and Shia, form the rich tapestry of Islam. They reflect the diversity and depth within the religion, painting a vibrant picture of faith and devotion. These figures and sects add to the rich tapestry of Islam. How has Islam evolved in the modern world? A question that takes us on a journey to the heart of the 21st century, where the impact of Islam is not confined to mosques and prayer mats, but echoes through the corridors of politics, culture and society. As we journey through the modern era, we find that Islam, much like other religions, is not static. It has adapted to the changing rhythms of time, demonstrating its flexibility and resilience. The digital age, for example, has seen a surge in online platforms offering Islamic teachings and Quranic lessons, 
making religious instruction accessible to anyone anywhere in the world, in the realm of culture the influence of Islam is equally present. Globally, Islamic art, architecture and design have been embraced, with their intricate patterns and profound symbolism providing a rich source of inspiration. The Islamic fashion industry too has gained momentum, catering to a growing demand for modest yet stylish clothing. Yet Islam's most profound impact is arguably seen in the political sphere. With an estimated one and a half billion followers worldwide, Islam's teachings continue to shape political systems and ideologies. In many countries, Islamic law or Sharia is used as a guiding principle for governance, while in others, it coexists with civil law. But it's not just about governance. Islam has become a potent force in social activism, as seen in movements advocating for justice, peace and equality. From the Arab Spring to the fight against climate change, Muslims around the world are using their faith as a catalyst for positive change. As we step into the global village, we find Islam at the heart of many conversations, from interfaith dialogue to discussions on human rights. It's a religion that's not just surviving, but thriving in the modern world, constantly evolving and adapting to the demands of the day. Islam continues to be a major force in the modern world, shaping societies and cultures. It's a faith that has journeyed through time, leaving its mark on every corner of the globe, and continues to do so today. What are the challenges and threats that Islam faces in the modern world? This question is crucial to understand the current struggles within the Islamic community. One of the most significant challenges is Islamophobia, an unfounded fear and prejudice against the Islamic religion and its followers. This fear often arises from misunderstanding and is fueled by negative stereotypes and media portrayals. The impact of Islamophobia is far-reaching, leading to discrimination, hate crimes, and a general sense of alienation among many Muslims. Another pressing issue is extremism. While Islam is a religion of peace, certain extremist factions distort Islamic teachings to justify violence and intolerance. These groups represent a small fraction of the world's Muslim population, yet their actions cast a large and damaging shadow over all of Islam. This extremism not only threatens global peace, but also creates a deep divide within the Muslim community itself. Misinterpretation of Islamic teachings is another challenge. Islam, like any other religion, is complex and multifaceted. Its teachings can be interpreted in various ways, and unfortunately, some individuals and groups exploit this to spread hate, fear and division. This misinterpretation can lead to harmful practices and beliefs that are not in line with the true spirit of Islam. These challenges have a significant impact on the Muslim community. They create an environment of fear, mistrust and division, both within and outside the community. They also hinder the freedom of Muslims to practice their faith openly and without fear. Yet it's important to remember that these challenges are not reflective of Islam as a whole. The vast majority of Muslims are peaceful individuals who strive to live in accordance with the principles of love, compassion and justice that Islam promotes. Despite these challenges, Islam continues to thrive and influence the world. The resilience and strength of the Muslim community are testament to this. Through education, dialogue and understanding, we can hope to overcome these challenges and build a world where all religions, including Islam, are respected and understood. What are the benefits and advantages of following Islam? Islam is not only a religion, it's a way of life, a comprehensive guide that offers its followers a clear path to spiritual fulfillment. It encourages a sense of community, solidarity and brotherhood among its followers. The Islamic concept of Ummah, or community, binds Muslims across the globe, transcending borders, ethnicities and languages. It's this sense of belonging, of being part of a larger global family, that gives Muslims a strong sense of identity and purpose. The ethical and moral guidance provided by Islam is another significant advantage. Islam presents a clear moral compass for its followers, emphasizing honesty, integrity and respect for all living beings. Through its teachings, Islam encourages its followers to strive for justice, fairness and equality in all aspects of life. It promotes a balanced life, where the spiritual doesn't overshadow the worldly and vice versa. Moreover, Islam encourages intellectual growth and the pursuit of knowledge. 
The first word revealed in the Quran was read, emphasizing the importance of education and learning. Islam encourages its followers to seek knowledge, to question, to ponder, and to understand the world around them. When we talk about the beauty of Islam, it's impossible not to mention Islamic art and architecture. From the intricate geometric patterns that adorn mosques and palaces, to the mesmerizing calligraphy that graces the pages of the Quran, Islamic art is a testament to the creative spirit of this faith. And let's not forget the rich tapestry of Islamic culture, the literature, the music, the traditions, that have left an indelible mark on world history. Islam also places a strong emphasis on charity and helping those in need. The pillar of zakat, or almsgiving, encourages Muslims to give a portion of their wealth to the poor, promoting a sense of social responsibility and compassion. Islam offers a rich spiritual and cultural experience to its followers. The beauty and benefits of Islam extend far beyond the realm of the spiritual, seeping into every aspect of a Muslim's life shaping their worldview and guiding their interactions with the world around them. We have journeyed through the history, beliefs and challenges of Islam. We've traced the path from its humble beginnings in the Arabian Peninsula to its rapid expansion across continents. We've delved into the core beliefs that guide millions, from the oneness of God to the significance of the Prophet Muhammad's teachings. We've met influential figures, explored the diverse sects, and witnessed how Islam has adapted and thrived in the modern world. We've acknowledged the challenges it faces, the threats it wrestles with, yet also the resilience it shows. We've admired the beauty of Islam, its emphasis on peace, justice, and the pursuit of knowledge. We've seen its benefits, how it provides structure, purpose, and a sense of community to its followers. Islam, with its rich history and profound teachings, continues to be a guiding force for over a billion people around the world. Many thanks to you all for taking the time to watch our video today. If you found it helpful in any way, we would really appreciate it if you can hit the like button and consider subscribing, as this helps to motivate us to make more engaging videos for you in the future. Finally, we would like to wish you the very best of luck in your own journey, and we hope to see you all in the next video.